فاشرف بي لاشتغالي بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم ذا آت تسمية ثانية له There are other terms, there are, there are other wordings that are given to it which is not uh, غريب is also فرد الفرد Ibn Hajar says there's a slight difference between the two uh, He says there's a slight difference in terms of its usage the difference between الغريب and الفرد he, he says the difference which is الفرد أكثر ما يطلقونه على الفرد المطلق that the word الفرد the majority of times it's generalized it's referred to as what? when the فرد is general so the word al-fard, when it's used, and it's used, it mainly falls to the first type of the types of gharib that we're going to take, which is gharib mutlaq, or fard mutlaq. Whereas the gharib, on the other hand, is mainly used for, it, for, for when it's what? Al-fard al-nisbi. Fard al-nisbi, which is the second type. So Ibn Hajj, rahimahullah, he's saying that in his nuzhatu al-nadar, in the sharah of his kitab, Nukhbatu al-fikr. الغريب when it's used for على الفرد النسبي it's used for the فرد النسبي how many types brothers are there uh, in terms of the uh, غريب now we have to look at the type of if we're trying to divide it into types this is looking at it from the angle of what لموضع التفرد where the تفرد came from in terms of it, where it's happening from it's two types in terms of where it happens from it's two types. It either happens from the original Sahabi's angle, and that is called uh, It occurred. The singular narration occurred from the companion's angle. This is called Al Fard Al Gharib, whichever you call it, Al Mutlaq. And the evidence for that is the hadith of Inna Mal A'malu Bin Niyad. Tafarrada bihi, who is singular in this hadith? Umar ibn Khattab. So the hadith is singular. It stays in. The second type is called Al-Fard Al-Nisbi. The hadith was probably mutawatir from the beginning. Or it was mashhur from the beginning. Or it was what? It was from the Sahabi side, it probably 20 people narrated or 15 people narrated. But from the from those huh? From those 15 Sahabis who narrated it, they all, one person came and narrated from all of them. One person narrated from 15 Sahabas. This is called Al-Fard Al-Nisbi. Am a gharib Al-Nisbi. And this is what they refer to as هو مكانت الغرابة في أثناء سندي It occurs whilst in the chain of narration Whilst in the chain of narration uh, Because it can't happen at the beginning of the chain of the Sahabi Then it would be what? Al-Fard uh, Al-Mutlaq The example for this one is the hadith That Imam Malik rahimahullah He narrated from his Shaykh uh, Muhammad ibn Shihab al-Zuhri Who narrated from Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu He said دخل مكة that the messenger صلى الله عليه دخل مكة that the prophet entered مكة وعلى رأسه المغفر and on the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم his head was his helmet now if we look at this hadith Muhammad ibn Shihab al-Zuri had many students many many students uh, he had Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah Sufyan ibn Uyayna rahimahullah ta'ala he had Al-Awza'i his student he had Ma'mar ibn Rashid as his student he had many students huh? But then only person narrated from Zuhri, from all of those number of students he had, is Umm Malik, Malik ibn Anas. This is called what? It's called Gharib Nisbi, I'm a Fard Nisbi. The Gharaba, it occurred from Malik only alone. So it's whilst in the chain of narration. Because we said the chain is what? Malik and Zuhri and Anas ibn Malik. Zuhri, who narrated from him alone? All the students he had, who narrated from him? Malik ibn Anas. This hadith is called what? It's called the Fard Nisbi. And as I said before, the reason why it's called Fard Nisbi is because because the singular, the singularity of this hadith occurred because of a particular individual. Just like now. Brothers, um, where are the, if I wanted to find examples, Madanul Gharib, if I wanted to find examples of Gharib, which books would I go to and find examples like that there? The books you will find is Musnad al-Bazzar. And Imam al-Bazzar, rahimahullah, in his Musnad, he has a hadith which are gharib. Al-Mu'jam al-Awsat. The Mu'jam al-Awsat by Imam al-Tabarani. It's one of the Madan. But what books talk about it? Which books are authored 
about this issue. They just talk about Gharib. It only deals with Gharib. And those are two books. Or three books. One is an Gharaib Malik, written by Imam Dara Qutni. Dara Qutni. Gharaib Malik. Some people don't know why Dara Qutni was called Dara Qutni. Ah. You know what the word Dara Qutni means? <coughs> Dar and Qutn. Qutn means cotton. Dar means house. The house of cotton. So maybe it was either a herf for him, I think. Was it maybe he's a prof- his profession? No, maybe. Or somebody from his family member. I think it was somebody from his family member who their profession was to sell or buy and deal with uh, Qutn, which is what? Cotton. Um, that's Gara Ibu Malik. He also authored another book where he called it Al Afrad, which is singular narrations, which is another one. Also, another book written by Abu Dawood al Sijistani, which is As Sunan al Lati Tafarrada bi Kulli Sunnatin, Milha Ahlu Baladatin. Abu Ayyub al Sijistani, Abu Dawood al Sijistani, he wrote, authored it. Uh, brothers, and according to that, we have now finished. Uh, we have now finally been, with the permission of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, we actually had finished uh, uh, Taqseemul Khabari, dividing the Khabar in how it reached us. As I said again, it reached us in two ways. It either reached us in a what? As Ibn Hajar said, Turuq Ghayra Mahsura Bi'adadi Mu'ayyanin. The way it is transmitted to us is not a specific number to it. And that is called what? Mutawatir. And we took the types of mutawatir and its examples. We moved swiftly to the next point of how hadith reached us. We said, no, it has a number and a figure to it. And then we said, this is called what? Ahad. Lahu turuk mahsura bi adadi mu'ayyanin. And we said, this is ahad. The ahad we divided into how much? We said it's mashhur. Mashhur, we said, it is that if it, narr- if it's, if it narrates it three or four. Three or four. And we said ahad, it can become sahih, hasan and da'if. So when we now talk about, next point, we talk about taqseemul khabar, I mean, taqseemul khabari. Ha. Um, when we look at it, bin nisbati, I mean, taqseemul khabari al-ahadi. بِنِسْبَةِ إِلَىٰ قُوَّةِ وَضَعْفِ We're referring to the Ahad uniquely. Mutawatir doesn't enter it. What did we say? Ahad is, as I said, is mashhur. It is also what? Aziz, which is that two or three. Mashhur, we said, sorry, it's three or more as long as it does not reach حَدُّ التَّوَاتُرِ مَا لَمْ يَبْلُغْ حَدُّ التَّوَاتُرِ And the last one we said is, we said is غريب. غريب is that uh, one person is in the chain of narration. Doesn't matter whether it's at the beginning, and doesn't matter whether it's whilst in the chain of narration. If it's at the beginning, we said it's called Gharib Mutlaq. If it's within the chain, it's called Gharib Nisbi. The Shaykh Rahimahullah he says, وَفِيهَا الْمَقْبُولُ وَالْمَرْدُودُ لِتَوَقُفُ الْإِسْتِدْلَالِ بِهَا عَلَى الْبَحْثِ عَنْ أَحْوَالِ رُوَاتِهَا دُونَ الْأَوَّلِ وَفِيهَا in it. In what? In the singular narration, there is maqbul and mardud. Maqbul and mardud. So, the hadith which is singular, which is ahad, as even the way we said, is that ahad is not good to call it singular. Because remember, in it is aziz, mashhur, aziz, and gharib. So, singular, it wouldn't be right. But the Ahad, the Ahad, brothers, it's what we say it is what? Maqbul or? Mardud. Accept it or reject it? Respect, uh, accept it or? Reject it. What does Maqbul mean? And what does Mardud mean? Maqbul means ma tarajjaha sitqul mukhbiri bih. Maqbul means um, that which um, the truthfulness of the informer has come to us. It's become clear to us. That the person who's telling us, he's truthful and he fulfills the criteria and the guidelines and the condition uh, required from him. The second one which is called Mardud, which is called Mardud. 
beings. Um, this person's reliability who's informing us uh, has not become clear to us. Or it's clear that he's not he is not right. Rejected. Are you with me? It's rejected. Are you all with me? The ahadith which are maqbul are which are accepted are four types. The hadith which are accepted are four types. It is Sahihun Lidatihi, Sahihun Ligairihi, Hasanul Lidatihi, and Hasanul Ligairi. Those four types are the ahadith which are accepted. Again, Sahihun Lidatihi, Sahihun Ligairihi, Hasanul Lidatihi, and Hasanul Ligairi. And remember, all of these are under what? Ahad. Mutawatir is always sahih. Hadith that's mutawatir is always what? It's sahih. That doesn't enter the chapter of what? Al-Maqbul wal-Mardud. Hadith which asks, uh, mutawatir is maqbul. We, we, we spoke about that before. Are you all with me? So that's what the Shaykh Rahimullah is talking about. We're going to come to those four in details. But now, let's mention what the Shaykh said. He says, وَفِيهَا in it, أي the ahad, the, if, the news which are ahad, singular. In it is المقبول, that which is accepted. And also what? That which is rejected. That which is, that which is rejected. Now brothers, what does it mean, the ahadith which are rejected? The ahadith which are rejected, what does that mean? It's a hadith that has two issues. The hadith which are rejected, which is mardud, is two types. Or two reasons is what brings it for us to reject it, which is the second type. Are you all with me? Which is, um, first reason, it may be a saqtu fi sanad. In the chain of narration, somebody fell out. And that will come to us, inshallah, as four types. Al Mu'allaq, Al Mursal, Al Mu'dal, and Al Munqata. Come to us, inshallah. Or, the narrator, he is what? The narrator is what? The narrator, it is, he's criticized. The person who narrated the hadith, he's criticized. The person who told us is criticized, or who brought the narration to us, is a criticized individual. And due to that, the hadith is what? Naam. And the criticization of the narrator also occurs in two ways. The criticism that happens to the narrator is in two ways. Either what is criticized is his adala, his adala, which is his reliability. And that is five, because of five, five things that are present in him, he's criticized for his adala, his reliability. Either he's a liar, either he's a fasiq. Or either he's muttahamun bil kadhib, he's a suspected of lying. Or either he has innovation in him, which is the fourth. And the fifth, which is the last one, al-jahala, he's unknown. Ah. And the jahal we're talking about is jahalul ayn. Jahalatul ayn. As for the criticism that comes, in, the second type of uh, criticism that comes to the narrator is what? In terms of his memory. And that's also five. The first one is fuhshul ghalat. He's excessively, he gets too much mistakes. Excessively. One. Second one is what? Su'ul hifd. His memory is bad. Three, al-ghafla. He's heedless. Four, kathratul ohab. Many mistakes that come from him. And we'll mention the difference between the first one and the second one, inshallah. Uh, it's the first one and the fourth one. The fifth one, which is muqalafatul thiqat. He opposes reliable people. He opposes reliable people. That is every hadith that is rejected is rejected because of one of those two. Are you all with me? As-saqtu fi a hadith. The chain of narration is cut. Are you all with me? And I said the, the cutting of the chain of narration is due to four, how many reasons? Four. Four reasons. And also, الرawi, the narrator is criticized. And he can only be criticized for how many things? Two. His adala or his dhab. And each one is five. And we will go to each one very, very, uh, very good, inshallah. You just all have to uh, pay attention. Pay attention, inshallah. وَقَدْ يَقَعُ فِيهَا مَا يُفِيدُ الْعِلْمَ النَّظَرِيِّ بِالْقَرَائِنِ عَلَى الْمُخْتَارِ The Shaykh Rahimullah said, and it may occur 
ما يأكا ما يفيد ما يأكا in it meaning أحد that which benefits knowledge which is not necessary not necessary knowledge a knowledge that comes from research and observation the type the knowledge are two types علم النظري and علم الضروري knowledge that is that is brought to you by way of necessity like the little child is aware of what the little child is aware of what that the fire burns that's علم الضروري he knew that out of necessity the second was علم النظري it's knowledge that doesn't come from necessity it comes out from observation and research the hadith which is ahad it benefits علم النظري knowledge of observation observation and look but that is when it is when it's got an المحتف بالقرائن the hadith that has support محتف بالقرائن محتف means it's supported with what it's supported uh, with other things the qara'in are as follows pay attention okay the hadith is singular are you with me are you all with me the hadith comes in a singular narration can it have the knowledge that a mutawatir has can't have it now we're not talking about implementing it we're not talking about implementing it are you with me in terms of if you're going to implement a khabar which is ahad or a khabar mutawatir you have to implement it not to, choosing not to implement it. Are you with me? Choosing not to implement it uh, is the belief of the Mu'tazila. You have to implement the hadith which is mutawatir. And also the hadith which is ahad. Whether it's an aqeed, whether it's an ahkam, you have to implement the hadith which is ahad. This is the belief of Ahl Sunnah. Are you with me? But that doesn't mean that Ahl Sunnah and ulama of the people of knowledge have brought to the table what? That the, sing- the hadith which is ahad does not f- benefit necessity. The certainty, singular narration, it doesn't benefit certainty. Are you with me? Because it can't be the same as what? A mutawatir. But there are times when it benefits what? Certainty. Even that there's a singular narration. That type of hadith which is which benefits you, that gives you certainty. Are you with me? Certainty. Which is a singular narration, which is ahad, sorry. Which is ahad, is when? It has support. It's ahad, but it has things that are supporting it for it to now reach a level where we can say it is the same as a mutawatir in terms of what it benefits us. Are you all with me? From those is that which Bukhari and Muslim narrate. If a Bukhari and Muslim narrate a hadith in uh, Sahih and it's, sing- and it's ahad, it benefits as the mutawatir does. Why? For three reasons. Jalalatuma fi hadha shad. Bukhari and Muslim, both of them are what? Very noble and very high status in this field. Two, تَقَدُّمُهُمَا فِي تَمْيِزِ الصَّحِيعِ عَلَىٰ غَيْرِهِمَا The second one is, they have precedence over every other scholar in this field of hadith. Allah gave them precedence. They had unique style of knowing authentic hadith and distinguishing it. They knew it very well. Three, تَلَقِّ الْعُلَمَاءِ لِكِتَابَيْهِمَا بِالْقَبُولِ The fact that, the third one, the fact that the ulama accepted the Bukhari and Muslim, they took them on by way of acceptance. And that acceptance alone, وَهَذَا التَّلَقِّ وَحْدَهُ أَقْوَى فِي إِفَادَةِ الْعِلْمِ مِنْ مُجَرَّدِ كَثْرَةِ الطُّرُقِ الْقَاصِرَةِ عَلِ التَّوَاطُرِ That acceptance, that consent, that has come from Ummah Muhammad, from its ulama, from its general mass, is sufficient huh, to show you that the mutawa that jama' is as powerful and it's reached that level of mutawatir. The second, that's Bukhari and Muslim. The second one is what? If the hadith is mashhur, mashhur. We said yesterday how much time the mashhur is, we spoke about it in details yesterday. It's three and more as long as it ma'alam yabluk hadda tawatur. As long as it does not reach mutawatir. Sahih. Is mashhur, are you with me? Is mashhur a type of ahad? Yes. Mashhur is one of the three types of ahad. 
It's one of the three types of a had. And it's when three and more narrators narrate a hadith, as long as it doesn't reach the number 10, we said, according to a view. Or as long as it doesn't reach mutawatir. Three or more, as long as it doesn't reach mutawatir. This hadith, if it comes, it has different chains of narration, different. Each chain of narration, salimatun kulla, all of them, authentic. Second one, strong and authentic, good. MashaAllah. 